Hi guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Patrick. We're from the Football Daily and we're here with FA TV at the home of English football, bringing you the Emirates FA Cup Team of the Weekend. So let's kick things off obviously with a goalkeeper and I think we're both in agreement it has to be Jakubovic from uh, Hull keeping Arsenal at bay on the weekend. Fantastic performance, the bane of North London, two great saves I thought. Two great saves, the one off Joel Campbell from the free kick was particularly special. Well I really liked the one that he saved from the deflection from Danny Welbeck shot. Yeah. I mean we do have to give a shout out to Joel Robles who was great for Everton, saved yeah. that penalty. Yeah I mean that really turned the game around so a big shout out to Joel but I think Jakubovic you're, you're going goal for us. We've gone a little bit exotic, gone for a 3-4-3 formation and uh, Paul McShane's kicking us off. I think a great goal and uh, just an all-round good performance against the Premier League side. Well, what, what do you ask from your captain? You ask for him to be solid in his position and if he can get a goal from a set piece, then that's a pretty good bonus. Alongside McShane, we're going for Jagielka, I think, of Everton. Really solid performance against the tough Bournemouth side. He was covering for full-backs, he was covering for his fellow centre-back, yeah. he was getting into midfield. Really, really good performance, kept a clean sheet. A little bit of debate over our last defender. For an Arsenal fan has gone for Koscielny <laughs> here, which I, I, I'm not in complete agreements with. But uh, Well, he, was, he gave a really good performance. Uh, again, our full-backs kept getting caught out of position. Uh, he did an excellent job stepping into midfield to cover for Matteo Flomini as well. And Arsenal kept a clean sheet. They didn't really give much away. You can't really argue with that. You can't, but I would like to give a quick shout out to Kelly and obviously Marshall, goal scoring defenders. Kelly keeping a clean sheet away at one of the Premier League's top teams at the moment, Spurs, and scoring his goal. So a bit of debate, but bow my head to Patrick and he is putting Koscielny in at centre half. <laughs> so for our midfield four, we're going to start at the base of it in the pivot role. We're going to go for Ben Watson, great assist for the goal and just an all-round good commanding performance in midfield. Yeah, I mean, looks just like you, which is the thing that I like about him. Uh, very solid at the base of midfield and he knows what it takes to win the FA Cup. He scored the winner in the final against Man City a few years ago. Alongside Watson, we've got Reading's key man, Oliver Norwood, absolute specialist at free kicks, really deadly, and tall West Brom apart, really, just from the set people in the real life. Put in two brilliant balls, they scored two goals and went on to get the win. I think we need a bit of Spanish creativity in the midfield as well, so we've gone for Cesc Fabregas. Had a really, really good game for Chelsea. Looks like he's coming back to some form and I think he was just generally the hub of everything good about Chelsea the weekend. Yeah, there was a real kind of revolving uh, dervish attack in front of him and he was able to pick out great passes, really caused problems for that inexperienced Man City centre midfield and backline. I think the standout performer though this weekend is Pierre West Ham, absolutely stunning performance and he just keeps doing it week after week. He's absolutely incredible, his creativity, his finishing, his yeah. pace. I preferred his second goal. I, I preferred his second goal as well. Unbelievable run. Really composed finish and Pierre was just exceptional there. Phenomenal. So staying with West Ham, another outstanding performer is Emanike. He was just really composed in front of goal. I really like how he took his second, that little shimmy in front of the keeper, sending him back to the 1800s, I think, with that one. That's an absolutely stunning finish. <laughs> they've shipped out Jelovic, they've got an Emanike. It's a pretty good swap for them. On the right-hand side of our front three, I think we're going to have to pick Willian, although Hazard performed brilliantly. He's a more versatile player, I think, at least at the moment. Uh, you know, great passing, uh, great dribbling, and he carries the ball through midfield on the counter-attack yeah. so well. He's been Chelsea's outstanding player this season. So, Willian, you're on the right-hand side of our front three. I've had to put Lukaku in there, got his goal against Bournemouth, another really good performance. He's having a great season for Everton, so he has to be up there for me. The combination of athleticism and intelligence in Lukaku yeah. is just absolutely unbelievable. It's so much experience as well at such a young age. His goal this weekend was quite an unusual goal for Lukaku. It was, yeah. it was a real poacher's strike. So that was our Emirates FA Cup Team of the Weekend, but have we missed anyone out? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to FA TV and of course the Football Daily.